Okay. Let's all look at question 11. What did they say? Okay. Let's all look at question 11. First of all, we must understand the question. Am I right to say that? Okay. Let's look at question 11. By showing your working clearly, hello? Verify if, question 11, huh? verify if x equals to 90 over 20 is a solution of the equation, this one. Now, if it is a solution, that means I must have left hand side equal to right hand side, right? When I substitute in this value, do you all agree with me? Yes or no? Okay, now, I'm going to write down the equation. Huh? 2x minus what? Later I'll show you another way. Okay? 2x minus what? 3 quarter equals to 1 third x plus 5 over 6. Huh? Okay? Now, do you agree that the left hand side is this one? So, two, if this is a solution, that means I will plug in this minus 3 quarter right. Okay, can you clean the calculator for me? 2 times 19 over 20 minus 3 over 4. What's your answer? 2 times 19 over 20 minus 3 over 4. Give me infection. Huh? Up to you, just give me the answer. 2 times 19 over 20 minus 3 over 4. 20? 23 over 20. Okay, okay. Is it 23 over 20? Yes. Can I read? If the pressure is fine. Okay. Now, then you go on to the right hand side. Okay, then 19 over 20 times 1 third plus 5 over 6. Is it also 23 over 20? Okay. Now, it will only be a solution when the left hand side is the same as the right hand side. Okay, so this is a question 11. Okay, so how to conclude? Can you see, you must say, since left hand side equals to right hand side, when x is 19 over 20, x equals to 19 over 20 is a solution. All of you must write this. All of you take this down into your homework. Because you know you must know how to explain. I say all of you take this down in your homework. Because you know level you must know how to explain. I think I should write this uh, solution. It's the solution. Because it's the only solution. Everybody okay? Yeah? Where? Where? Oh, 
over 12. So x will be 19 over 12 divided by 5 over 3 x. So I just want to do this. What's this number? 19 over 12. Is this correct? Can you see here? Uh, when we solve it, we will get this. So this is a solution. But when you want to say that this is a solution, you must show that side close to the right side. Understand? You don't solve it and say, oh, it's the same. Everybody clear? That's the way to answer our next question. The way that we ask. Everybody clear with what I'm saying? Okay, yeah? Uh? All right, good. Now, there is question 13. We have a lot of problems, okay? Question 13, we have a lot of problems. Okay. Now, let me just say one thing first. This one will give you x equals to what? So just very easy this one. x equals to what? x equals to 2, right? 5 minus 3, right? That means x equals to 2 is a solution to this equation. Do you understand? It's a solution. And the question will be solved. Okay? But if you still want to pass notes now, right, and still want to talk during my lesson, right, I think you don't want to get out of the class. It's not your like, fantastic over your best like that. If fantastic, get no correction, you want so many correction. Then some people just refuse to listen to me and want to do your own way. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's fine. Except I'm not wrong with you, know, that's all. Understand? You think you are the only one that is stubborn, is it? I'm also very stubborn. If your presentation is wrong, then it's wrong. Clear? So, the question we solve, and then after I solve it, this one is called the solution. Everybody know? Okay, now, question 30 will have a lot of problems because it's quite difficult actually. Okay, now, can you see that actually it's an advanced question? Okay, but not so advanced yet, alright? Let's look at question 13. Okay. If 4x plus 1 is 3x plus 5y, find the value of what? 3x over 16y. Everybody know what the question is talking about first. I don't want the solution. I don't want any answer. I, I just want you to know if you know what the question is talking about. Yeah. Yes, huh? Okay. Then it's like that. I don't know anything. Correct? I don't know anything. Okay, all of you know 4x plus y equal to 3x plus 5. I bring all the x to one side. 4x minus 3x will be 5y minus y. What is this? X is equivalent to what? 4 y What does it mean to say that X is equal to 4 y? Whenever I see X, I can put in 4 y They are equivalent. Yes, here. Yeah. Okay. Then they say find the value of this guy here. Okay, now. This one means 3. Now, in terms of X, in place of X, I can put 4 y away. Because I show up from there, or oh, over 60 y, correct? Yes. Okay, so this is actually a 12 y over 60 y. I see. Okay. What and why will cancel out? Divide by 4, 3. Divide by 4, 4. So what's the answer? 3 over 4. That's why I say it's actually not difficult. It's the way you understand the question, whether you understood or not. Is that clear to everyone here now? Yes or no? Okay. Everybody okay? No problem? No, huh? Okay. How many actually, after I explain, after I explain, find it is actually quite easy. Okay, but finding it easy now, no use, huh? You must do until you, this kind of question also very familiar. You understand what I'm talking about? Oh, cannot say no, 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 after that, don't know about it. Everybody clear? Yeah? Uh, yeah. No. Why? Why is gone already? Why? Why is cancelled already? Where not why? Understand? Uh? Because they say find the value, no. How can the value go away? Am I right? Can or cannot? Can, uh? Okay. Now, can you see that I've probably finished exercise 5A already? Okay, now, Wednesday I have one more lesson. Then Thursday, because it's your 
home book. Uh. I won't have lesson. Friday also no lesson. That means I'll see you next term. Understand? I will try and finish up exercise 5A today. Then on Wednesday, I will do the problem sums in real world context. That means in that particular section, we must be able to form equation ourselves. And then after that, solve the equation. Now, in the event that we form equation wrongly, everything will be wrong. Understand? So that is a very important thing. Okay, what's the number of the contact page? Now, um, 12.30. Wow. Is it number 12? Okay. Can you write down number 12? Today's day. Exercise 5A. Solving linear equations. Can you take out a piece of full scat paper? I want to teach you how to present. Yeah, not any more, right? Yeah. Yeah? Eleven is W one. Oh. Okay. All of you take up full step. I don't want to waste time. Do you understand? Because 
21, you cannot divide by 5. It becomes a fraction. It becomes more complicated. When we want to solve something, we ask. We want to simplify it and do it better. Understand? Not going to complicate things. Okay, the question will always say, expand and simplify. I never said expand and complicate. Why not? If you want to complicate, then all of us die. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Okay, all right. Can you take down these two working for question 3D? All of you, do it now. Oh, no, no, more questions, 
for negative one, one over thirty two also can. Everybody clear now? Everybody clear now? Okay, huh? Alright, next one. Question number seven B.
There are two ways to do this. All of you look up. You can say a bottom divide, right? Then you do, 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 do this is what? Zero over one. Zero is zero over one. Then you can cross the line. Correct, right? I'm talking to you. Alternatively, hello? Is it okay if I write this? This one I bring over, become positive. Can I? Then I can straight away cross multiply. You can see. Uh? So actually, uh, there are many, many ways to do a question. Okay? You just need to be careful and you just need to be logical. Is that clear to you? Okay, all of you look up one last time. 9B, are you clear with the hint? Okay, change it to double four. 9E, are you clear with this? I've changed to order. 10E, can you see? I either do 0 over 1 or I bring this over negative becomes positive, right? Then I can cross multiply. Is that understood? Okay, what questions do we continue on the full paper? I'm going to write here. Okay. Is your last question question 7B? Yeah. Is it 7B? Okay, next one. Next one is continue. Or full scale. Is this your question? Yes, continue or full scale. Just